You are now watching TNW Farms. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another TNW Farms video. And today, sitting in front of me, I got the surprise I mentioned in the last video the new piece of equipment. So, without me talking too much, without showing it to you, I'm going to show you the brand new piece of equipment I bought. So, we have uh, Industries America. Five shank subsoiler, and I'm not able. Hold on, give me a second. There we go. So it's five shank subsoiler. Got it down at Duke's auction in North South Carolina. Now that don't make no sense, but there's a town in South Carolina called North, and that's where their auction is. But this is a five shank subsoiler ripper, whatever you want to call it. It's the model is the S5. Kind of hard to see, but there's some of the other information. This is out of um, uh, Mexico, is where they produce these things. But it's a nice, heavy duty, five shank subsoiler. And uh, that's what we're going to use to hopefully quit, like way out there. See the water stand in the field. So we're hoping to keep that from happening. Rip some fields kind of deeper so the water drains get better root depth, depth out of it. So that's the surprise. So you'll see it in a couple couple weeks hooked up to the tractor. Um looks like it's gonna do what I need to do, but we'll find out the old 1086 pull it because this thing is heavy. The little new hauling we had was kind of front end was squatted down, tires look like they were ready to blow out. Thing weighs a good little bit, but this is a brand new machine. Uh, the auction company purchased these, uh, this brand and some uh, another brand, brand new, and they run through the auction. They had a five shank and a three shank up there. I went with the five because worst case scenario, I just take two shanks off and I got me a three with the ability if I ever get a, a bigger tractor, I can put run five shanks on it. So that's, that's what it is. You can see the name, Industries America website there. Looks like it's gonna be a good piece of equipment. There is some like spots on it. That's got some rust, so we'll fix them up. But overall, for what I paid for it, really good price. And it looks to be real beefy. So that's a little bit of a surprise.
forgot to paint this one to get this top done. Let me kind of see how it goes back together. Don't look half bad. I'll paint it up. But this pin here. See if I do this one handed. That pin goes there. And then this long one here goes through there. So, take that pin back out, get it cleaned up, paint it. So this will be ready to all go together. I'm going to put a new bolt in here. The uh, bottom piece is down, or the handle piece is down there. So... Overall, not too bad. Don't look half bad at all once it's all paint. But I'm going to keep working on trying to get that one in. I think the threads are a little messed up on it. I knocked the roll pin out. It's hard to tell. But you can kind of tell some of those threads are a little split. Kind of messed up. So we're going to get that cleaned up, but get back to y'all once it's all assembled.
Well, I think that's on the right thread, but we got one issue. I shouldn't have put that back on because now I can't get to the bolt that goes down in there. So it looks like I got to take this uh, darn thing back off so I can get that bolt in, put it back on. Yeah. Learn as we go because I've never done this before. So. You now it goes. Never worked on something. You figure it out eventually. So, let me get this heavy son of a gun off and go from there. Try to get that bolt in, get the rest of the assembly on because you can see over here, pans are in. Everything's attached. That one we just got it pinned up. But now you can take that and turn it with no problem to adjust. So both of them are fully functional now. So let me get that off so I can put that bolt in. All, all that for one bolt. Alright, get back with y'all in a little bit.